Hello, hello. Welcome in. Today we are going to be playing Nancy Drew, which is what I will be playing on this channel. This is my first stream, as I said, and so I felt like it was only fitting to start with Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill, which is the first Nancy Drew game. Okay, and so this is Nancy's desk. If you haven't seen this before, I personally love it. Oh, a sparkle. Okay, love that. Already got one sparkle. Okay, let's close this and let's open up the game. I got to get used to these controls. This game, the controls are a little bit different than some of the newer games. Okay, case file. Here we go. Okay, current assignment. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. Is that it? That's all they're going to give us? Okay. And then I guess we just click on the ticket to start. Yes. Here we go. Junior detective because I've never played a senior detective game. So we're just going to stick with junior. Who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Okay, let's go. Time to get sleuthing. Okay. I had to close the school library early today. If you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember not to enter in the wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Okay, so we need to find the safe and the key. Well, the combination. Anything else over here? Yes. Okay, this looks like an invitation. Paseo del Mar University and Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority invite you to attend the sorority reunion. Okay, I'm going to make a note of these letters at the top here because I feel like that will be useful. Nope, just the paper. I love the sounds in this game specifically. Okay. And let's turn around. I don't want to go out yet. Is this the door to the other room? I just remember that the clicking around in this game is very difficult. Okay, what about here? Reminders. Talk to Jake about library books out of order. Call Nancy to get flight number. Call Jackie about Spanish schools. Can I take any of them? I feel like there's something else in here. I can't turn the right way. Okay, what about... Nope. Here. Hidden clues are everywhere. Ooh, okay, I see a little code at the bottom. String things have happened on the bridge. People have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and others have felt a cold tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings, but the first documented case of a spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out there. Spooky. All returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year. That's actually really scary. At first, the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. Spooky. Okay, and I'm going to make a note of this code and number down here. And nothing else here.
Fuck me, he is for us. Okay, we're in the middle of a story. Brady Armstrong? Why do I recognize that name? Is that from another game? I don't know if there's any clues on this page. Any other book? Okay, and we can't use this yet. VCR, TBT. And over here. Ooh, key! Okay, so we have a key to the lounge, and I assume our little stuff goes into our pockets here. Cool. Okay, and anything else here? Just the key. Hello? Okay, here we go. Ooh, these are Nancy True books. Wait, that's so cute. These are a throwback to like the original. Or I guess it's not the original, like the second version of the Nancy Drew books with the yellow covers. Love that. Ooh, sparkles. Let us go. Okay, we went over here. What I've learned from Nancy games is you just have to be like so thorough. It's ridiculous because you miss one little corner or one little book and that ends up being the one that stops you from playing, like from progressing in the game. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's turn around. Okay, here's the safe. I'm not going to touch that because that seems scary. So let's go out and explore. You guys want to go out and explore? Oh, my phone! Wait, how come I can't click on? Oh, Dr. there we go. Here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. Speech. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I Not Uncle now. Steve. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Okay, so let's head over to Maxine's and see Mr. Suss himself, Detective Beach. Okay, let's go. Love this map. Honestly, very iconic for Nancy Games. And so Florida with the palm trees and everything. You love to see it. Okay, let's go meet. Let's go meet Mr. Suss. Ooh. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. We dropping at Maxine's. Drew. Squad we up. Just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just or take you engine. up on that. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school <gasps> last week. Murder? What, what happened? happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly this to murder? himself. Actually so aggressive. He worked here. I didn't know him that well. Okay, who, who did, did it? it? Give us a team. No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Not the FBI. Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful oh, women no. like yourself. Okay, did, did this Jake, Jake have, any have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? That's us. Okay, uh... I should get back to work. Oh. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Okay. See you later. Bye. Later. I'm gonna go ahead and save really quick, too. I have played this before, so there's some old... old saves in here. We'll just go ahead and save. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Is it playing? No, you probably, oh, you have to put money. Okay, well, I don't want to spend my coins yet. Oh, now it's playing. Okay, we'll come back to that. Aggregation. Wait, this is in another game too, isn't it? I was watching a stream earlier this week and I think I saw somebody, okay, this song is a lot. I think I saw somebody playing this. And Barnacle Blast. I don't want to play this right now either, but we'll come back in case it's something we need to do. Oh no, there he is. Mr. Sus himself. Okay, here's the menu. And we've got some colored letters. Oh, and another one of these codes. Okay, I'm not sure. I know obviously that these colored letters are gonna do something, but I don't remember if you have to go by color or if you just go in order of the letters. Also again, welcome in to anyone joining. This is my very first stream. My name is Kristen. I absolutely love, love Nancy Drew. Um, I have played this game before. I have not played all the Nancys, um, but I felt like it would only be fitting to start with this one, of course. Let's talk to Detective Beach, who quite honestly freaks me out. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since, uh, uh for a long time. <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Oh, okay. Bye, I guess that's Steve. all for now. He scares me. Bye. Okay. Oh, a sparkle. You want to go snooping some more? We can go over to the high school. Also, well, let me get out of here because this music is a little bit, a little bit much for my ears. Do we have checklists? Yes, we do. Okay, look and see if Aunt Eloise left me a note. Did that. Did that. Go to Maxine's diner and meet Detective Beach. Check. Did that. Look at us. Okay, and is this... Oh. Phone numbers. Observations. Oh, she keeps the little codes in here. Okay. Jake worked in the library. Okay, cool. So we do have a little journal and then our bag. All right. So from the locations, options are the diner where we just were, the high school, big fancy building, and Aunt Eloise's house that we came from. So we will head over to the high school. This music brings back all the maps. Okay. Also the Florida flag. Shout out. Can I look at this? It's, is this just going to be like a compilation of me saying, can I look at this? Because I feel like that's what Nancy games are. No. Okay, we'll go this way. So we're going... Learning is the only thing that the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never frets. Dude. Okay, so we'll go, I guess, straight first. Wait, what is this? Wait. Oh shoot. Okay, I guess we can't click on that. Okay, we'll go down this hallway first. Can I click on any of these? Nope. Go this way. 
Fetting manatees. Represent. Paseo Beach, Florida. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm from Florida, so it's funny to me. This game is set in Florida. Okay. Lauren Girl. Jacobian Comedy. Doctor Deception. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of a doctor to be. Oh no. Okay, and we have another letter code, so I'm going to write that down. Let's see what else. Varsity soccer. Announcements. Okay, so I guess only that one. I don't know if it'll be like one thing per each um, bulletin board. I'm just trying to make sure I don't um, miss anything because specifically the directions in this game are very confusing to me. Where are we going? Okay, maintenance room. We don't have a code for this. So I'm not going to try. No early death, Nancy, today. And then this way. Oh, another bulletin board. Okay. Just say no. Chess club. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh, a bunch of letters underlined. Senior essay contest. $8,000? Also, isn't this from like 2001? That's so much money for then. I mean, that's a lot of money now, but let alone 20 years ago. 14, it'd be $14,000 today. That's wild. I mean, that's so much money. I mean, I know some colleges that would not even pay for like one semester. But still, for an essay contest, one essay to give you $14,000. Okay, wait, I gotta, I gotta write these letters. We're on E-N-T-S. So this one spells out, put elements in order to open puzzle. So I guess that's gonna be a clue. Um, we can't do anything else with it now. Are we going this way? Yes. These little papers on the floor always make me feel like we can pick them. Ooh. Okay, let's look at this first because I don't want to miss bulletin boards. Anything? Oh, here we go. Friends and family are invited to come to the fifth annual picnic. The high school marking, marching band. Another code. U2. Sounds down here. It might just be one code or like one item we can click on. Wait! This is a Nancy Drew book cover. Like a super old one. Oh my gosh. I love that. I don't know which one that is, but that's definitely one of the old ones. Okay, so maybe it is just one the bulletin board. Hi, I'm Connie. Hello. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Is it obvious? Is it that obvious I'm not from around here? I'm a school monitor, so I have to notice these things. School monitor? Is school even in right now? Why is she here? This must be pretty hectic for you right now. Obviously. Once this whole thing blows over, it'll be back to the same old routine. Doesn't it concern you the murderer is still out there roaming the halls? Don't make me laugh. Just because I'm a girl wow. doesn't mean I can't handle myself. Jake finally met his match. What the heck? Lady, he was murdered. What do you mean, his match? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. Okay. Go now. Later. That doesn't mean you can hey, just Nancy, kill Nancy. him. Also, I love when they say, gotta go. And then you can just talk to them again and annoy them some more. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes. And if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Soda machine alarm? I guess that comes with a territory of being a school monitor. Normally, it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. Pranks? 
How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all rich. the time. Rich? But not anymore. Okay, maybe some money troubles with Mr. Daryl. I'll talk to you later. Adios. Adios. Okay, anything else we can click over here? Okay. Nope, that's a turn around. Judo tournament. Homecoming. Also love when they enter. Ooh, wait, so many shiny. Okay, love when they insert like real life images into these Nancy games where all the figures look like they're made out of like clay or something, Play-Doh. Oh, soda machine. Okay, again, I don't know if we need the coins for something, so I'm gonna save them. But soda machine number one. Oh, another shiny. Tony's Pizza, 555 Tony, nice. Can I click on any of these? No. Okay, and then we looked at this, so let's keep going this way. Always with the papers on the ground. What we can click on. Senior. Entries and art exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Drew for info. Oh, the code. I'm going to try and read this backwards. Stay with me. The hidden video tape will seal my murderer's fate. Hold on. Are they just admitting that Jake knew he was going to get killed? Unless there was somebody else who was going to get murdered. Okay, that's aggressive, but we'll come back to that. I really feel like there's more you can click on, but maybe not. Okay. Anything here? Oh! Okay, let me just do another sweep. Oh, sparkle! Just to make sure. Okay, we'll talk to him. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first Hal. name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. I heard about that. Some kid named Jake? Oh, yeah. Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Oh, wait. Is he... Okay. They always say goodbye and then you can still talk to them. Do you know Connie Watson? Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Dating? Didn't she say he was like a bozo or something? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Oh no, politician. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Okay, so again, they're referencing money problems with Daryl specifically. See okay, you later. Let's just goodbye, Nancy. Double check if he's actually done with us. Bye. Yes. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye. Let's try and find some more bulletin boards. We looked at this one. Can't go in any of those doors. Okay, so we're back to the beginning of the high school. So let's go down the other hallway. Nope, the other way. My bad. 
really like we'll never be used to the controls in this game i don't think <laughs> okay clues oh um okay another letter clue up down left right the first letters will help my plight should i write that down probably that's always the answer we're going this way i think oh no not the crime scene tape. Okay, so we definitely do not have a code for this. Have I missed a jump scare yet? No. Unless you count seeing Detective Beach. Because personally, I would count just simply seeing his face as a jump scare. I'm going to assume that this would be Jake's locker since it's crime scene. Nothing else over here. Oh, wait. Wait. Did we come from this way? Student of the month, month is Hal, who we just met. <clears throat> what the heck is this? Okay, another four-letter clue. So I'm going to write that down in the Nancy notebook. My brain is not computing this. Is it like an unscramble? The spaces are wrong. Okay. But the letters, but the letters are in, oh, okay, so read it the right way, but the spaces are wrong. I, something about this was like not computing in my brain. Find the, or them, find the morning edition, and, I don't know why there's a capital letter here, and this discover another crime the answer is in black and white to who will do the time so again i'm thinking jake the guy who was murdered wrote these notes because he knew something was coming which is Possibly more sus than this whole storyline, to be honest. Kudo tournament. Let's go this way. Bulletin board. Computer lab. Volleyball. Oh. Oh no. Okay, can we unscramble this or is this going to be something where we have to do something else to encode this. Did we even- we didn't even go in the computer lounge. Okay, she's just like- she's just giving us answers here. Research the meaning of the kanji symbol. Connie was a ring. How do you know that's a kanji symbol, Nancy? See if a student knows how to get into Jake's locker. Okay, so we, we might need to go back and talk to the people we already talked to, which would be Daryl, Connie, and how those are the other students we've met to ask them about jake's locker so that does confirm the locker with the crime scene tape is jake's locker and then we need to find the teacher's lounge which should be in this hallway she is writing down all the four letter codes that we find which is good just in case we miss writing down one mm. library study dome i guess you think it was nancy it's never Nancy. Wait, do we already went this way? No, I'm getting turned around. Jim, we haven't been that way yet. So maybe let's just go all the way down this hallway and then we'll come back. It's so turned around. Nancy's always innocent. She would never even break the rules. She would never do anything suspicious in the name of solving a crime. Oh no. Okay, another code. KR1. All right, let's try and read this. Okay, I'm feeling it's up. Wait, no, this one's not upside down. This one's upside down. This one's upside down. This one is backwards. Nowhere to turn to. Nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. A symbol of kanji 
worn with great pride, reflects big secret that someone must hide. Okay, so that's this is talking about Connie, because our the Nancy Journal in here said that Connie was wearing the kanji symbol. He did what it took to make the is this a G? Is that what's throwing me off? Okay, this is a G and this is a G. The gr grade even if it meant cheating to keep up his why can I not read this word? I'm going to try and flip it on my phone. I don't know why I can't read this one word. Parade. Okay. Could not read this one word. From the top, he did what it took to make the grade, even if it meant cheating to keep up his charade. I'm just going to make a note. And kanji symbol secrets secrets and cheating charade and grade okay sorry that took me a long time that was a lot that was the one we just saw why can we look right here just to admire the water fountain perhaps oh okay another soda machine and this is what connie was talking about setting off the alarm but I don't want to spend my money yet again in case there's something that we need it for oh oh my Whoa, a new girl okay do you realize what Hello. brought you today yours truly Hector Sanchez but you can just call me the Hulk not the Hulk the Hulk you are new around here I play for the manatees one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's coming. Bro really went, whoa. Showtime. Sorry, I'm trying not to talk over the characters just in case it's too loud with both. But yeah, bro really said, whoa. Oh, I also just saw um in the Nancy Drew Fun Facts video I was watching yesterday that in the original game, his number on his jersey was 00. zero. Which is weird, because isn't that not a real ball number? And then they changed it to 80. And I want to say it was like 80 years of the Nancy Drew books. So like a little nod to that. Obviously not 80 years of the games. But I think that can be a real number, zero, zero. I feel like, they, I don't know if they had a symbol for it. Like if there was a reason they picked zero, zero in the first game. I believe it can be a number. Okay, I'm not going to claim to be a sports person, so I'll take your word for it. Okay, yeah, as much as much sports as you, content as we're going to get on this channel is going to be from Mr. Holt right here. Okay, let's see what else he has to say. Who are the manatees? The manatees represent... Scott is a manatee. <clears throat> Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. She didn't say I was afraid of the manatees, dude. Oh, or you can say, actually, I'm afraid of them. Aren't they really dangerous? Nancy, you have never been to Florida. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. I ain't afraid no yeah, manatee. Just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Oh, Jake no. Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Bro, you were just like chatting me up a storm. Okay, so also to note that, he's saying he also didn't like Jake. I don't think anyone has said that they like Jake. Which is unfortunate because he's dead. Let's see if he'll actually talk to us again. Of course! Everybody says bye and then lets us grill them some more. He's really busy. Stands in corner with ball. Yes. Classic Nancy. We'll do Connie first. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real because tough time. she did it. Oh no. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. 
Did he say Connie was having a tough time? We'll just go with this one. Why not? Hmm. Not exactly sure. You but said you, she was you having just a said tough it. Time? I heard she's been having some money problems. No. Oh, no. Okay, so now... I don't know why everybody's all up in everybody else's business, but nobody seems to have any information about Jake besides that they hate him, which is harsh. Rude, honestly. So next we'll do the locker, like you How guys could said. I get into Jake's locker? I could tear the door off with my teeth. Oh no. But it just might be Who is this Gaston? His locker was right next to Jake's. Oh, there you go. Hulk says to ask Hal about the locker, and then you said to ask Hal about Kanji symbol. So we can go back to Hal after this, and when we finish our first loop around the school here, um, we'll ask him about you know Hal now. Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Okay, so they're friends. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it... Last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Um, okay. I added a few notes to my notebook just about the characters so far. And we'll need to do some follow-ups. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Oh, gosh. His family sponsored the football dinner... Which kind of goes along with the money problems. Because somebody else said something about like. Last year they did this. Or last year this happened. But we are just now learning that he's the one who discovered Jake's body. I don't think Daryl told us that when we first talked to him. I mean I guess that would be a really dramatic thing to disclose. On your first meeting somebody. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Okay let's just check one more time. How's it going? Okay. I gotta go. He's actually done with us now. All right. Anything else we can snoop over here? Going? Nope. I, I tried go. to click on the books. See ya. Also, let's save real quick. My mouse is freaking out. Okay, we'll call this... Hold. Let's keep snooping. Getting manatees. Oh. We keep seeing these posters. Does she write down this phone number in her phone, do you think? Oh! Okay, this is also like a cover or an image from an old Nancy Drew book. So I love that. I don't know which book, but this is definitely one of the super old covers. I wanted to see if they wrote down this phone number. Ned, our boy, we can call him in a little bit. No. Okay, only one contact. So I'll go ahead and write down- Camera! <gasps> I didn't know we had a camera phone! Are these all going to be like Nancy Drew book images? Not. Just kidding. Never mind. Pass on the lolly. Wait. Okay. This is a remake of the first Nancy Drew game. So Castle Malloy is another Nancy Drew game. But it would have come out after the original game. So it's funny they put that in here because that's like Nancy Drew time bending. Because she wouldn't have gone till to Castle Malloy until after this game. Okay, we can call Ned in a little bit, but um, we'll try and get the locker combination maybe while we're here. Okay, we did this, and then we can't go... Let me look at this. Oh, a coin. Come to the game. Sports equipment checkout. Oh, what is this? Um, is this E-V-I-F? So maybe it's going to be five? Maybe this way? If anything happens 
to me. Oh no, Jake again? Jake making posters for us now? Look in my chemistry book page page three zero okay he's really out here just putting like poster clues up for us but he couldn't help himself or like warn someone i'm gonna make a note in my nancy notebook okay this is really cute student art exhibit i think we saw another poster referencing this but I want to say these are all Nancy references slash fan art. Like this is kind of the Nancy logo. Oh, and a coin on her little magnifying glass. This one. Okay, I see a scarlet hand. That might be my favorite Nancy game, at least so far. Um, cards. Maybe these are just some other. Oh, the bird. Who is this? Lulu? Very cool. I love their little like nods to Nancy inside the games, especially since this one was a remake. So they had a lot more time to add in these Nancy things. Okay, Wolf. This is one of the super old ones that I played growing up too. I forget the name, but it's like Wolf Dog something. But still really, really cute. And I just love that they include like the fan stuff in the games. This one we already saw, right? Nope, we did not. Okay, four digit code. Writing that down. Z R R four. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the school. Soda alarm? Soda machine alarm that Connie, our favorite, was talking about. We didn't go oh, library. We didn't go in there yet. But we still need to go talk to um, Connie and Hal again while we're here, and then we can talk to Daryl once we're done at the school. Did we see this one yet? I'm not remembering because so many of the little posters and stuff are like in other places at the school. No, we didn't see this one yet. Another code three and four letter codes. I'm writing all of these down in my notebook, and then I'm hoping this one is not backwards because it's numbers, but I can, I guess I'll just write the whole thing down. I love making notes. I'm just a big journaler as a human. Um, and I think it's really fun to have like a physical notebook for the Nancy games. And did we go all the way around in this one? Cool, cool pop. Also, is this door what we have the key for? Okay, not the key. I don't remember what that key is for. It's locked. Yeah, that's my favorite Nancy sound. We also didn't find the teacher's lounge. I know our little... Ooh, a sparkle. Shocker, I know. Okay, we'll talk to him again in a second. This is how. Um, But there was... Wait, what the heck? There's a school of defense called Crane? Where did we even see that? Gotta go. Good luck with the mysteries. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the, the help in the chat. Solving mysteries. Have a good night. See what the students have to say about each other. Have to do that. Okay, never mind. That's done. Okay, so we at least got them in the gym. See if a student knows how to get into Jake's locker. And we didn't find the computer, uh, the teacher's lounge at all. Okay, so we'll talk to him and then we might just call it there. And then we'll pick up here next stream. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? injury. Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Oof. That's tough. I don't know if they said what year they are. 
but that's definitely tough if it's your junior or senior year to be a number one player. And then Hulk, which they're using as his first name, said that Hal, his locker was right next to Jake. So that's why we're going to ask him about Jake's locker. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Why not? Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? Okay, so he's not going to tell us the code. Bye. Farewell, Nancy. Farewell. Oh, well, bye. 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 I must go now, Nancy. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I had on my list to do were to find the teacher's lounge, figure out the key or the code to Jake's locker, talk to the students again, and then figure out how to use a key that's in our pocket here. We will keep exploring down the school because we have yet to find the teacher's lounge. So I don't know if we missed it or if there's just another hallway we haven't seen yet. So let's go back this way and we'll just try and check the doors, I guess. We can't turn around there. This is the library door. So where is the teacher's lounge? Is it in here? Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I love when they do that. Put in like actual like fan photos and stuff into the game. Okay, well we can talk to, oh, I saw a sparkle. Come back around, there it is. We can talk to Connie again since we did find out a little more information since we last talked to her. Hey Nancy, need something? Yeah, you didn't tell us you were dating Jake, the dead guy. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? That's not very much information. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. Okay, so that's two times now they've said that he's like kind of at a breaking point. How? With his studies. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. I don't like saying this, but Hulk he told did me money's it. been tight for you these days. But what a dork! Hulk what Sanchez dork. doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. You go, girl. I'll let you go. Adios. Okay. Let's just double Why check. Why the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Okay. Goodbye. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Let's go to the teacher's lounge. Yeah! All right. So let's go in here. I assume we're gonna have to use That's the key. That's for teachers only. But I oh. have a key. Yeah, right. You're still not getting in on my watch. Okay, so this is where we're gonna need to use the. Yep, we're gonna have to use the soda machine alarm that we found. Yes, grape, grape, orange, cool. So we need to go to the orange, the other soda machine in the gym by Hulk, and get Connie to leave this room. There it is. Okay, and I did look up the other code that Nick, you were helping with yesterday. I looked up the rest, the one that was like numbers to spell out a word. So we can try the one also if we want. So I'll do that one first, because I don't know if there's a time limit once we set off the alarm to make Connie run away. So let's see what this one does. Cool, cool, pop, spot, great. <gasps> Easter egg! Nice! Cool. What was that sound? That was like actually kind of scary. Oh, and it gave us a bunch of money. Okay, let's go. Now we'll do the one that will set off the soda alarm. Grape, grape, orange, cool. Nice one. 
Thank you, Hulk. Run! Run, we're gonna get caught. Nancy! Go faster! Okay. This way. Wait, she's still here! Hey, Nancy. Need something? Oh. We just have to tell her? I thought she was just gonna come running. Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Bye! Okay, now she's gone. Go, go, go! And then... Okay. Go! Okay, so we need to snoop around in here. Let's save. I'm hoping there's not a time limit. But we have a save now, just in case. Coin. Pumpkin. Great Enterprises post third loss stock tumbles. Great Enterprises reported a 500 million second quarter loss Tuesday. But CEO and founder Eugene Gray remained optimistic about a struggling company. We anticipate defense spending in the next increased defense spending in the next year. Our new missile guidance system, Bright Aurora, oh scary, will be online in six months, and we foresee accelerated growth for this new system. A recent Senate hearing examining possible leaks of classified information in the Paseo Del Mar company has soured many investors. Possible leaks? Great Enterprise stock has sunk by almost 75% in the past year. Despite these, set despite these setbacks, some analysts remain positive about Great Enterprise's future. They're the most innovative developer of military hardware. Oh, did you hear that? I just saw ginormous lightning on my window. <laughs> okay, anyway. With the weather, if they can weather the current storm of mismanagement and loss, they'll do very well with Great Aurora. Mr. Gray said that his company will report a strong profit this year. Okay, so Gray is Daryl Gray. So I think this is his dad, which is fitting with somebody was telling us about the money problems that the Gray family was having, um, which we're also, I think we're learning here that they build missile sim systems. And Okay, anything else on this shelf? We're this corner. Anything here? Sparkle. Turn. Okay, map. Oh. A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. And another four-digit code. Which I'm going to write down. We have a long list of four-digit codes that we found around the school. And these messages were like kind of getting scarier. Okay. Senior final papers. Oh, we're really snooping now. This says a reminder to submit house paper to the scholarship foundation, which we saw information on earlier. And we're seeing his essay on etiquette. I'm hearing like voices in the background sounds of the game and it's like scaring me that Connie's going to come get us. Okay, that's it. Keep going this way. Any of these? Is this, is there a clue on this? Like, are these first letters a clue? Okay, a printer, but I can't click anything. Oh. I just, oh, two sparkle. Oh. Oh. Do we have this? I don't think we have this. Oh, okay, so. We didn't get the, the key to the library from the safe at the house. That was at the very beginning. So we'll have to go back and get that. So we will have to come in here again. Oh, ginormous clue. No. Oh, this is another old Nancy Drew book image or cover. Very cool. 
Oh, the music just got so much louder. Okay, well, let's just go back out because I don't know if that's like warning us. But I think we already we already talked to we already talked to him. Oh, okay. Well, we can do this one while we're here. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Great. I don't know if we should talk to Hulk again while we're here. I don't remember if we got more info. That new girl told me you said I'm having what? money problems. Oh, no. So what if I did? You're such a loser. Don't ever use that word to refer to me. <laughs> Get out of my face, Hector. What are you going to do? Ow! Ow, ow! Connie, stop huh? it! You have an attitude problem. Later. Run! No, I wasn't snooping. I wasn't doing anything. I would never. I guess we can go back to Aunt Eloise's house and pick up the key from the safe and her computer login. And then we can go back to the diner and talk to everyone again. All right. So safe. This feels scary. I don't know the names of the letters, so I'm just going to match them to what I wrote down. This one, this one, this one, this one. Nice. Okay, yeah, we completely missed this the first time. Oh. Sly puzzle? I don't know the best way to go about this. I feel like this needs to go. Oh. Oh, that one's good too. Okay, so now just this one needs to come over here. Nice. Okay, there we go. So let's write down this as well. Cool. And then I believe there was a key in here too. Oh, over right here. Ideas. Cool. And I don't think we have anything else in the house, so we can just go ahead and head back to the diner. And then we can go use the computer code that we just got. The music in here. I don't know if it's as loud <laughs> for you guys as it is for me. What can I do for you? It's so funny. Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Oh, ew. No, 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 no. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Okay, so he's working at his dad's company. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? How much he'll give us. Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. 
the student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. See you later. See ya. What can I do for you? Bye. See ya. And I guess we got to check in with this guy again. Hi, Nancy. Oh. Uh. Could you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. Rude. Bye, Uncle Steve. Goodbye, Nancy. All right. So we didn't really get any more information from the diner, but we have the computer login and the key to the library. And we need to go to the teacher's lounge. But before we do that, we need to set off the soda alarm to get Connie out of there. So bear with me. How's it going? Oh. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Okay. I gotta go. So. Bye, Nancy. And here we go again. <clears throat> grape, grape, orange, cool. Nice one. All right, back in here we go. Oh, okay. this one. And to the computer. Let's see. All right, so we do have the login now. Oops. Nice. Okay, so we're just gonna check all the things, I suppose. Oh. Oh, wow. They're really just gonna give us all of these. We know which one we're gonna need. It's maintenance room. Maintenance. Clean stairwell near cafeteria. Repair lo lock on video lab door. Check ADA requirements for doors. Call Dylan HVAC for boiler service and change password to boiler room door. Do we need that password? Was that on there? Boiler room? No, no boiler room. Yet. Okay, to-do list. Locate missing book or order replacement for English essays through the ages, gather donations for sophomore book sale, update meeting info for pass Paseo Book Club, take down student art exhibit on Friday, and have library computers networked with school. So I don't think that's anything for us. Maybe the missing book? Security report. Okay, so we'll grab that. I just don't want to have to log back into the computer again. Oh. Okay, so this confirms that Jake is the one who does the bulletin boards at the school. We can't click on anything else here, right? No. CD-ROM? Not available. Okay, so that should be it with the computer. And then we need, okay, lights left on in the library, send email to e -Drew. all outer entrance doors checked and locked, backpack, backpack belonging to Connie Watson found in the student union, placed and lost and found. Several outside security lights are out, work order submitted, toolbox from Dylan HVAC service Left in boiler room. Left note with maintenance. Patrolled outside grounds on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not properly secured. Several raccoons in the area. I've sent several notes to kitchen staff to secure the dumpsters. This needs to be addressed. 
observed young man peering through school entrance doorway. He identified himself as an exchange student and was trying to leave his homework. So that's how. They let him in and escorted him to his locker and escorted him out of the building. Approximately 8.30 p.m., I overheard two individuals arguing outside Gazer Gym, and I approached them. Two males ran, ran down Rutherford Street. The first male was approximately five foot five, red hair, teenager, who wore green windbreaker and jeans. And the second male was teenager and wore a football jersey with the numbers eight or zero on it. And we did talk yesterday about how Hulk's jersey number is 8-0 because they changed it from the original game when it was 0-0. Caught several students soaping teachers' lounge with windows. Students admitted they were engaged in a senior prank. I instructed the students to clean the windows and to leave campus. The involved students were Daryl Gray, Nathan Gomber, and Yvonne Wong. The students' names have been given to Principal Parton. 1201 heard screams from East Stairwell after calling 911, found teenage male teenager who apparently fell from stairs, attempted to apply first aid, see a police report for further details. Okay. So this is at midnight, right? And he found Jake at the bottom of the stairs. But then Daryl says he also found Jake. Wouldn't it have been like long gone by then? because he wouldn't have been at the school in the middle of the night. He said he came early in the morning for a meeting. That to me feels a little bit suspicious, I'm just saying. That's done. Check. We'll just check off a few of these. That's done. Did that. Check. Check. Okay, so the maintenance room lock is in Braille. So we'll have to see if we can find information in Braille as well. Because we have that the... Did that. Okay, checked off a good amount of stuff. And we haven't been to the library yet. So we still need to go to the library and we still need to figure out... Oh, who's calling us? Hello? You better stop your oh. nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of shape. That was scary. I don't know if anyone else noticed, but that said Mitch Dillon on the phone. And we just saw in two places, Mitch Dillon HVAC. Did it put that on our phone? I just feel like that would be kind of... Yes, it did put it in our phone. Wait, what happens if I call him back? Dylan, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, yeah. and cooling. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called oh, no. me and threatened me. No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um. I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. Oh. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening He's threatening me. us again. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Hated that. Should we call Ned? Let's call him. Hello? Is this Marta Winterglassen? Who is please calling me? Um, no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned? I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. Oh, you're such a Oh, Ned. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? Help me get into Jake's locker. 
Figure out how you can translate his name into numbers. Oh. The answer is probably staring you in the face right at this exact moment. Okay, that was a very plain hint. The four-digit code for the locker he's saying is Jake's name. And the other clue that we got was cell phone. So I'm going to guess that that means it's five. Spell Jake with a cell phone. Two, five, three. All right, so we do have that now. Talk to you later. I don't want to get another thing right now. And Connie's still gone. Yes. Okay, so let's go to the library. Okay. Library. New room unlocked. It's kind of huge in here. That's Nancy right there on that poster, too. Oh my gosh. That music change actually just made me jump. Why can we look? Oh. Sports today. Steroid abuse. I don't want to read all of this out loud. We can come back to that. We need specific stuff. I don't think we can get to that computer. What about here? Oh. Okay. Marie Antoinette. Have we seen anything with Marie Antoinette? I don't think we have. But there's a bunch of numbers on here. So, I don't know if I should just take a picture. I can just take a picture of the page and we can come back. Oh, and there's page numbers on here too. Oh, Braille, here we go. So we know that we need Braille for the word note. So let's look at that. And I'm gonna mark it down here on my notebook. That's the one I just clicked on. This one is new. Lizzie Applegate. Okay, and all of these pages have page numbers. But they also have numbers on them. So I'm feeling like one of those two things is going to be important. Yeah, because if there's one book on each shelf, that's going to be a lot. A lot of notes for us to take. More fan art. Love to see it. Map. What is that? Okay, another four digit code, and then we'll try to decipher this. My four digit code list is getting very long. And then let's try and read this. Maybe read one color at a time. So it would be, we'll do the red first. If any thing happens to me, sir, under my C O M combo, search under my combo in catalog. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. So I'm not sure if that would be like his locker combo or something else. I can take off auto mod yet, but I'm not sure the best way to go about that. Yeah, I can do that. And it doesn't look like We didn't go over here yet. Computers, reference. Okay, catalog search. So I guess we can just try Jake. 
No. What about 5253, five, which was the locker code? Oh. Under my seat. Okay, so that is for sure the code. Let's go over here. Okay, we can access all four of the computers. And over here. Can't click on anything here. So let's try going. Oh, sparkle. Let's try going upstairs. Just trying not to miss anything because these games you really never know. Oh, see, like we can go down this. Oh my gosh. That gave me a heart attack. What was that? What was that? Was that the same as the soda machine alarm one? What was that? That's where we were when we triggered the alarm. Chemistry. I feel like in a Nancy game, whenever you see the chemistry, you just know it's going to come back to haunt you. You just know. Okay, I'll take a picture of this. Jake was here. Chemistry. Okay. So this is Jake's stuff. And we did get a note about his chemistry book, page 305. And we're seeing another combination here. Adding that to the list. Okay, things to remember. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction okay that's kind of a lot so we don't know what the box is we know we're gonna have to find something matchbook at maxine's possibly with the first of the 18 steps so i guess it would be 19 total so let's see how many of those codes we have so far because i'm assuming we have like close to 18 of these. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need three more potentially. Okay, so I'm assuming that's that has to be the note from page 305 then because we can't click anything else. <gasps> oh my. Okay. This feels like endgame puzzle. I don't even want to touch that. And we don't have, we don't have all 18 yet. Oh boy, scary. We're looking for police tape on the locker. Here it is. I'm scared. We've gone too long without someone trying to get Nancy. I guess we did get the scary phone call, though. That probably counts for something, right? 5-2... 5... 3. Judo today. Okay, this is in Jake's locker, and he circled this one. Masked Marauder flattens foes. Onlookers and participants alike were stunned when an unknown last-minute entry swept the competition and won Paseo del Mar's fifth annual men's judo tournament this month. Wearing a cloth mask to conceal his identity, the winner, who identified himself only as Nineko, impressed the capacity crowd with his quickness and control, defeating opponents well outside his weight class. Such excitement and his incredible throwing techniques will make next year's competition even more of a threat. Will the mask man return? Okay, and we still do need to reference. We have the phone number for the judo school. And we also still need to search up the necklace that Connie was wearing. So that could be something 
we should have looked up in the library. But we'll we'll be back, I'm sure. <gasps> oh. Okay. So we did have a TV with the VCR player at Aunt Eloise's house. And this is a VCR box, but no VCR. No, I want this book. Open. Hal's English essay is the same as this essay. Oh, uh, we're gonna get got. We're for sure gonna get got. He plagiarized. But do we know if he got caught? I think one of the bulletin board notes said something. And it looks like that's it. Oh, nope, that's not it. Okay. Break in at local pharmacy. Paseo County Police responded to a break in at the drug station pharmacy on 80th Street in the early morning hours yesterday. Whoever it was knew exactly what they were looking for, said Police Chief Tachik. They broke in the building through the back window, took, took the drugs, and were out, were out through minutes. Sorry, that, those words just like trip me up. According to the report, several vires of pectinol were taken. We were just lucky that no other damage was done to the store, said the owner. The alarm report came in to police headquarters at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. Police responded and were on the scene within 20 minutes. A broken window was spotted immediately, but the thief had already left the scene. Any information concerning this crime should contact Paseo County Police Department headquarters. I don't know if we have any other information about this. We did see the book in the library about steroids. But that's my only idea. Oh, okay. She wants to talk to Hulk about that. Check. Look around for Jake's messages holding the 18 stuff. Haven't done that. Okay, so we don't have all 18 yet. Look for evidence. That's done. We did do that. Follow the directions of the secret message in the map drawer. Which was the one in the map drawer? Oh, we did that. That was to his chair. That's done. That's done. Okay, so that means we did get everything in the library. That's done. We still need to do this. The symbol that Connie was wearing. Okay, so we can talk to Hal and Hulk again. Let's go find them. We'll just talk to everyone, I guess. Hey, Nancy, need something? <clears throat> Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Not helpful. I'm scared he's gonna, like, blow up this. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. I was just coughing. Before I realized yeah, we what have I had been done, in I was buried in time. work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation. But I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. 
I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Nobody said they were friends with Jake. Everybody said they hated him. Now we're learning. Everybody talked to him at some point or another. For all acting like they didn't know anything about him. Do you him. know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Do we think we trust him? See you later. See you later, Nancy. He does seem genuine. Genuine, excuse me. This guy is dramatic. Yes, I agree. I mean, I think he's... He seems like he's being genuine. I just don't know if it's genuine and truthful. Because everybody seems like they've got something to hide. How's it you! going? Why are we Do you asking know everyone why Jake about had the an empty, empty video, video box? case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Okay, harsh. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. All I know about is Goodbye. football. Bye, Nancy. Such so dude. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me okay. a favor and Hey. Who do we still need to talk to? Now I'm forgetting. Did that. Did that. That's done. Did that. I mean, we can go back to the library really quick to see if this confirms the thing with the drugs. But I feel like it probably does. The magazines were somewhere near the front. Nope. Here? It was something with an H? That one. Yep. Yep, that was the one. Oh, can't read that. Wrong one. Hello? That's done. Okay. So, it was a growth steroid? Sports steroid? Oof. Oh, the kanji. Okay. The computers were somewhere. Were they back here? Yes. Back here. Let me go. What if I just typed this in? <laughs> How are we supposed to look it up? That's so not helpful. Okay, what about the books on the shelves? These ones. Oh! Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Okay, so I missed one. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take a leap and call the judo school number that we found. Which was 555 Judo. J U D O. We are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time. We will seek you if you are worthy. That's not helpful. Okay, but we can check it off. Still have to do that. Just kidding. We'll have to talk to our homegirl. Did that once again. You would think for how long we've spent here, I would be able to tell you which way to go. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Okay, thank you. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster oh. in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. Okay, so... She knows judo, and didn't we just see the book on the the paper about the judo tournament? That's done. Sparkle. Okay, we're running out of things here. But for all of our sakes, I'll go ahead and get out of here and go see the schedule. Hey, gorgeous. 
No. Just stop by. Ew. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. Mr. Cranky Pants? How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. I don't think any of these were what we wanted to ask him. I wanted to ask him about the schedule. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Yeah, because Jake worked here too. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? Okay, we're not going to confess that. It was open, and I just looked through it. Oh. I have no idea. What else that can I do for you? That was so uncomfortable. Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. Bye. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got oh, back Oh, no. <gasps> Dylan HVAC again. He's not being sly, leaving his name and his phone number on stuff. I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the basement of the maintenance school. Maintenance room at the high school. If that doesn't sound like a bait, I don't know what does. Oh boy. Um, note, I guess. That's so scary. Where is the schedule? Okay, and again with the colored letters that we didn't figure out yet. J O U R N A. It doesn't spell anything. Oh, L. J O U R N A L. Journal. H I S. His. I S M Y is my cash cow. His journal is my cash cow. Whose journal? And who would have changed this menu? But Daryl and Jake both worked here. And I'm assuming we already wrote down this code. X-E-R-3. Yeah. We need the schedule. Oh! We can just fully go back here? We definitely missed that. Okay. Let's just do our proper sleuthing. From Jake Rogers, clothing procedure. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. Some people think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. After totaling out the cash register, the cashier brings the cook the receipts to store in the potato bin. The cook also needs to check the life expiration dates on all foods and throw expired ones out. The cashier and cook get all food crumbs off of the counter. The cook preps all condiments for the next day. All services are washed so they're bright and shiny. And we've got the super long number code and another four digit code. 
So now we need two more of these four digit codes to get to 18, which was what Jake said. But this one, I'm not sure. Okay, I took a picture of this and hopefully Nancy wrote it down. Oh, here we go. Another code, which means 16, 17. We only need one more. But how do we decode this one down here? Because I really feel like it's supposed to be like you go up and down to read it instead of left to right. Check. Your eyesight in gym. We did that. That was the one that led us to the chemistry book. So is that how I read this other one? Okay, we need a matchbox. No part of that was a matchbox. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. No, Nancy, find it for yourself. Maybe we can ask Daryl. Okay, can we check off anything else? Did that. I don't want to go in the basement. That sounds horrifying. That's done. And we still need one more code. Let's go ask. Oh. I was going to say, no way we just picked up a knife. Dear Daryl, I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Connie. And someone else told us that Connie and Jake were dating. And I know she said something about Daryl. What did we just grab? A soup label? Nancy, you good? Okay, let's go ask. Let's go ask him. What is up with the schedule? What can I do for you? Oh, I guess do you know why Connie him. broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Like I said, she's mysterious. And she said she broke up See with you. See later. Jake. Take she care. She said it was a big mistake. Is it just going to force us? Haven't done no, because we don't have all of the clues yet. Okay, I'm not totally sure the best way to proceed. Okay, I'm not completely sure where to go besides the scary note to go to the basement, but that really feels like a bad idea. I guess if we're just going to be doomed, that's just how it's going to be but I really feel like Nancy should know better. I mean, we can ask Connie about the date real quick, but I don't think she's gonna say anything else. Hey Nancy, need something? Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. Did Jake make you break the date? You're asking way too many questions, Nancy. What business is it of yours? Nothing. I'll let you go. Bye. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Okay, buckle up, guys. I'm scared. I've played this game before, and I'm scared. No, I'm scared. Oh, no. That doesn't look good. Five, two, five, three, the only four digit code that we have. Huh. That's not good. I am a scaredy cat. 1967? Oh, 
No! This is no bueno. I'm just seeing... Okay. We're locked in. Oh. We for sure need this. Is it just gonna fully explode? Hold on. Scary. Okay, I'm gonna make a drawing. Oh, yes, tools, tools, tools. Let's not get blown up. That doesn't sound good. 19, I'm surprised Nancy's not like giving us some dialogue about the situation here. She's just calm as a cucumber. Ouch, too hot. Okay, lady. Oh, okay. This one needs to go all the way to the left. This one, all the way to the right. And this one, up to the left. Um, it's not working. What do you mean? Only this one is moving. Do you want to use Ouch, this? Too hot. Okay. <gasps> No. We died. We straight up died. Why can't we click them? I'm Googling it. Yeah, somebody else said, I got the gloves, the matches. I get the first level right. It lets me move to the second one, but not the third one. And then the room blows up. I mean... Or is it the opposite of the way that I wrote it down? No. Okay. I'm stuck. It's not letting me move the second one. Use the gloves on the left lever two times, then two times, then one time. That's also not working. We're gonna blow up again. This one's just stuck. This one's right. There. Is somebody gonna call us on the phone now? Or jump out? How do we fix this? No. This? Is that a ladder? Are we missing something? Turn around from the matches and see a great right of the boiler. Here? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Okay, save, save, save. Oh, okay. Where are we at, Nancy? Did that. That's it? Haven't done that. We're still missing one. Okay, so we need to find the 18th um, four digit code, which I'm hoping is on a bulletin board in the school. But we're just gonna have to retrace our steps a little bit because it won't let us proceed until we find that 18th one. And it doesn't even help if I look it up, like to um, Google the 18th clue because unless the game like triggers that we've seen it, it will not let us proceed. I think this is it. I think this is the one we missed because it's right between the two rooms where Hal and Connie are. ASU4. I think this is it. So we might've gotten lucky because she'll tell us right now if we have them all. Check. Yay! 
So it says starting with the symbol on Maxine's matchbook, use the letters and numbers at the bottom of each of Jake's message to figure out the order and direction to push each button on the box. So that's for the box that we found that Jake hid that I think is gonna just trigger Endgame for sure. So we'll have to put these in order. And then what we found last time was this videotape. I feel like we might want to do the puzzle first, just in case. Well, I guess, I don't know. I feel like one of these two is going to trigger Endgame. I just don't know if there's a right order or a wrong order to do them in. Because we don't actually have, like, a task to go watch the tape. I'm glad that didn't take too long to go back through all of them. Oops. Okay. Spooky, scary time might be beginning. VCR. Hello? Oh. Okay. Okay, this was the stolen drugs. Uh, the Hulk. So he broke into the pharmacy and stole the steroids. This is the judo contest. Okay, so Connie won the judo contest. That was for men only. And this is how a uh, plagiarizing essay. So he was just getting tea on everyone. Is that it? I need something to make this yeah. work. Okay, just put the tape right back in. Okay. Alright. I'm not too surprised by that. I mean, I have played this game before, but now we know for sure that the last puzzle is opening, opening Jake's box. So we will have to put these 18 clues in order and we will need to go to the library for that because we will also need the periodic table, which was posted near. Um... All right. So now we need to use this and one of the clues that we found. I made a note somewhere. I think it said like put the elements in order and we need the matchbook. So number one is gonna be this symbol. Oh my gosh, the music, when it changes to this song, I jump scare every time. Okay. And then we need to put our 18, 18 clues into order. So I'm assuming that means like element order, right? Like starting at one and then going down this way. I'm not much of a chemistry person, so I'm not like, I don't have a baseline knowledge of the elements. Okay, so let's first write down 18 spots. Okay, so one, do we have H or H-E? We do have H-E. So that should be number one. H-E. U-2. Um, I might actually... Well, can I... I'm trying to think the best way to do this so that I know which ones I've also already used. I might just draw on the picture on my phone. Next would be L I B E or B. L I B E B. I don't think we have any of those. Or C. We have a C. C R1. Okay. After C would be N O or F. N O F. I don't see any of those. Or N-E-N-A. We have an N-A. 
N A L three M G A L S I M G A L S I. We have a C L. Is it every three? It, is it just every three elements? That would make it a lot easier. But I didn't know that it followed that that set of a pattern. If that's right, the next one would be C A or SC. Maybe not. Okay. After C L, A R K or C A. We have K. No A R. K R1. Okay, we're on 6 out of 18. After K is C A S E T I. I don't see any of those. B C R M N. Nope. M N. Nope. F-E, C-O-N-I, I'm feeling like I missed one now. C-U-Z-N, we do have a Z-N. Let me just double check. Let me double check that I'm not missing something. Okay, making progress, halfway there. After K R, R B S R Y or Z R. We have a Z R and a Y. Y. Y then Z R. Got it. Y D three, Z R R four. Cool. And B. M O M A R U R H C D A G we have A G D one. Okay, only a few left, so it's at least easier to check off. C D I N S N S P T E T E L three. That's number thirteen. I I we have I U two. Okay, almost there. X E we also have X E R three. And then next would be C S B A L A L A we have L A U two. Okay. Three more. After L A is L U, which we do not have. H F we have H F L one. Alright, two more. So it's really just whichever of these comes first. I R and H G are the last two that we have. I R H G. Okay, so I R first. I R D two and then H G L three. Cool. So that's done. All right, so now we solve the box. We just, we just solved the box. We very simply solved the box. So the previous clue that we found about how to put this one together is that the matchbook is the first step with the symbol. Next are the 18 ones we just solved in the order. And then the first part of those are the elements that we just put in order with the periodic table. The second part are a direction and a number. 
So we're going to use those when we solve the box. We'll save one more time, just in case. You never know what could happen to silly little Nancy. All right, let's solve a puzzle. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get it first try. Although I don't know that I've ever solved a puzzle like this first try in a Nancy. Okay, first symbol right here. So then according to our, let me get a marker also so I can mark off. So then it would go up two, one, two, right one, I'm just going to leave my cursor on it. Left three. One, two, three. Down two. One, two. Oops. Right one. Down one. Up four. One, two, three, four. Left two, one, two, down three, one, two, three, right four, one, two, three, four, down one, left three, one, two, three, up two. One, two. Okay, good sign. We haven't gotten one wrong yet, hopefully. Right three. One, two, three. Up two. Left one. Down two. Left three. Yay! Woohoo! First try! The first time I played this game, I definitely did not open that on the first try. Okay, I'm officially scared. Deep breath, sip of water. All right, for anyone new joining, my name is Kristen. We're about to solve our first Nancy on stream. It's been a journey. Although I'm glad we were able to finish it at all because the computer problems earlier today, or really just the game problems, were making it look like we were not going to get there. Where's the door? It's this way. All right. I'm nervous. I know roughly what happens, and I'm nervous. All right. Buckle up. Hang on, just getting my notebook ready. If we need more clues. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. Why isn't it letting me click? Okay, had to turn on the TV first, got it. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from Daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. Oh, but what does Daryl do with this stuff? this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means, but he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning mm, guy, Dylan. Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This no. dude, can you imagine? This dorkoid oh, is the no. ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. No. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project it's code names, amounts journal. paid, etc, etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. 
was just, just going to sell the journal. anything happened to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my Dead body on my very own private game. island, retired at 17. Aunt Eloise? I'm feeling a Is jump that scare. You? Warning. Warning. Jump scare incoming. I need something to make no, this work. I'm trying to turn off the TV. Relax. Jump scare incoming, jump scare incoming. I'm such a scaredy cat. <gasps> Detective Beach, I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. Everything's you fine. seemed kind We're of fine. in a hurry. We're fine. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Everything's fine. Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Why don't we step into the living stop room it, and stop have it a nice right chat now. about where my journal is, hmm? This is oh, a children's why game. Why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find oh, your well. journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. Not the You're a Susie. real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Mitch Detective Dillon killed Nancy. Him? Where's my journal? In the entrance behind the tapestry, because that's the safe. It's in the entrance behind okay, the tapestry. Let's go, Nancy. We got this. We can get out of this. We can get out of What's this. What's the combination? Okay. My Nancy senses are telling me to not give him the proper combination. And the proper one, the middle ones, I don't know all the symbols are. B Kappa. So, not Phi Kappa. Moo Pi Phi Zeta. That's not it, Nancy. Not Phi Kappa. Not Phi Kappa. Don't pick the wrong answer. Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Not Phi Kappa. Delta, oh, okay. Delta, Delta, Delta. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police Let's will be go. happy to transfer you to another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach, and hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Oh, Mr. and his boss, formerly known my heart as rate. Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top-secret information has been stopped. Thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe, Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the Judo Club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to win the next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and He's Hal has gotten his scholarship. Hulk's a full-on criminal. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. Oh, I don't think I know this. I want to save this one. Please. Yay. Okay, so we got three awards, the Easter egg, which Another soda code. Trivia Tamer for getting the trivia question right. And Super Sleuth for snooping in every corner. So we had a lot of things we didn't do. Ned Defender. Pop Frankster. Probably for setting off the, the alarm so many times. Barnacle. That would have taken so long. 
library lover. Oh, we never actually needed those other library pages that we looked at. Burp, grubber, jukes, jukebox driving, Q and Jokus. Wow, that was a wild ride. Wild ride, wild ride. We did it, we did it, we did it. We got there in the end. We conquered some technical problems, but we got there. I've always wanted to visit Japan, from the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. Nope. Join me in my next adventure, <laughs> no. Shadow at the Water's no. Edge. No, not for me. Oh! Yeah, so they always tease the next Nancy game at the end. And it kind of goes in a little bit of a story and then they start putting like Easter eggs and kind of little bits of the stories from one to a max. I would love to play every Nancy game, but there's really some like that one that are like spooky or with the ghosts that are just really not my style. Like that's just really hard for me. I'm so much of a scaredy cat. But we did it. We got to the end. We solved the mystery with minimal, minimal troubles, I suppose. I don't know what game we should play next. I don't know if we should go in order or if we should just go with the ones that I have on my computer first or what, but we can definitely figure it out. But I'm very glad we were able to do this one today. Thank you so much to anyone who joined. I hope you'll give me a follow. If you wanna see more Nancy content in the future, I will definitely be back Monday, if not again sometime this weekend for another Nancy mystery and I will update my schedule accordingly. Thank you so much. I hope everyone has a lovely day or night. Happy time zone, and I will see you next time.